Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a distribution curve using marketing shapes. So this is the end product. I'm just going to recreate this so you can see how I've done this. Quite simple. If I go to File and New, Marketing Charts and Diagrams is what I need to be in. So double clicking on that which will be a blank of these, and then I can do the diagram that I've just shown you. So first of all, you've got quick shapes, charting shapes, and some of the things I want there is on that one, and then marketing shapes, and you've got things down here. So normal curve, if I bring that one on first, bring that one, zoom up a little bit so you can see it a bit better. So this is presets. If I just start typing some information in this, so if I go less than 20% for that one, if I go 30% for that one, I just fill these in. So I've just filled those in and then I'll give it a title, just call it distribution. And then I can color this in to make it stand out a little better. So if I go for a fill color, go for a green, and then you can do the line as well. If I, do, if I do the line red, so it stands out, and then I can make that a bit thicker. If I go to the weight option, I'll go for three point. That makes that a bit thicker. So that's the actual curve, the distribution curve. But what I also want to show is the table of data that this is coming from. Now that sits in charting shapes, and this option is what I'm going to use, grid. Now when you bring that on, it comes up as a 10 by 10 table I don't want it that big so rows I'll go for so go for eight rows and then two columns eight rows two columns and then I can start typing my data in on the column so if I just push this back over the other side underneath this and then I need to just type some information so at the top there I'll just go for name as a title and then percent and we'll just type some names in down this side and you give your scores on the doors for each, each of these people. So I'll just use um, colours, apart from my name obviously, green, black, brown, white. I'm um, running out of colours so I'll have to go Smith and Jones. So these are the people, the students. And then you just put in their scores in there. So let's say I was rubbish and I got 10% or 12%. And then you just fill in this in. So 45%, I don't really need to put the percent sign because I've got the title there. So 55, started, so I'll finish all the way down. 89, you can be a bit of a brainy person. Um, Smith, 23%. And Jones can be 99. So that's the scores on the door. So this graph is basically representing these people. And again, you can format the top of this if you want to make it a slightly different colour. Darker green or a different colour altogether. Using your fill tools. And then the font might need changing so it stands out a little bit. And all of these features you can do. But this is all I want to do in this little video. Show you how you can use these marketing shapes to create yourself a distribution curve and then a grid in this case to pull onto the screen to give you a list of the data that you're going to use or you want to represent using a distribution curve so hopefully this very short video is of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one